Okay, there's an important verse of scripture that says uh, godliness with contentment is a great gain and we always pray for success when we go fishing and uh, we try and uh, take what the day is giving us and uh, as it turns out uh, this day the Lord provided us with some uh, croaker so we're going to have a, a look at uh, how to fillet a croaker. So uh, now these uh, croaker can be prepared in different ways. You could of course, uh, just like you would a bluegill, uh, uh, scale them and gut them and cut the heads off and fry them up that way with the bones. Uh, our family uh, prefers not to have the bones so much and, and we make uh, various dishes out of them, uh, either frying them up or, or cooking them in a pan, maybe on the grill, making fish tacos, various things can be done with them. Uh, but our family prefers them to be filleted. So you start with a, a sharp knife uh, as usual. Uh, we use our sharpener here and give it uh, 10 or 15 swipes on the course and 10 or 15 swipes on the, f the fine. Okay, so you make the first cut right here behind the head, going down to the backbone, and then you make the cut to go over along the backbone. And this is removing the fillet uh, from the backbone. And then flip it over, and I like to flip it over while it's still attached a little bit so the uh, skin kind of holds on. And then you're just working the fillet. You're, you're using the fillet knife to then separate the fillet uh, from the backbone. Alright, so this one came off nicely, but you can see now you have. Uh, the rib cage and so then the ribs the rib cage needs to be cut out and there are different ways to do it uh, some people have enough skill to kind of catch a little of that meat and kind of do more of a swoop there um, I just cut the ribs out and have the fillet all right let's have a look at the other side The first cut comes down long in here. And then turn the knife quick. You don't really want to be pressing down for whatever reason. Uh, the backbone on croaker, if you're not careful getting that knife parallel to the table quickly, uh, croaker a little more apt to allow you to cut all the way through the backbone. So you need to use a little more care with the knife so you don't end up uh, cutting up through the backbone on the first cut. All right, so that's the next one. All right, so let's uh, try again with the next one. And uh, I noticed there on my last one that the knife isn't as sharp as I'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it uh, 15 more swipes on the fine side. All right, so you start just behind the head and behind the pectoral fin, go down toward the backbone, and you want to turn the knife quickly along the backbone, flip it over, and slide the knife and separate the fillet from the skin and still have a little bit of a rib cage right in there see what you got and then cut out any of the ribs that ended up attached to the fillet other side always try and take care to work the knife away from my left hand. I'm right handed, so you need to hold the fish, but the left hand is always out of the way with whatever direction the knife is pushing in, separate from the backbone, and then separate the fillet from the skin, and then if any ribs ended up in with the fillet. Just got to cut out the rib cage and have a nice fillet. 
All right, so one other uh, volunteer, as long as we're kind of going along here, things are going well. Touch up the knife with uh, maybe 10 more strokes. First cut behind the head and behind the pectoral fin down toward the spine. And then you want to make a sharp turn. You don't want to be applying downward pressure with the knife against the spine uh, or you'll cut it in half really easily. And if you don't end up with a little piece of skin attached, uh, some people like to use a fork. I like to use pliers just to get a firm grip on the back end to then work the knife and separate the fillet. Uh, from the skin and then there's just a matter of boy everything's slick on the end table there uh, separating out the rib cage so you know these fillets aren't the biggest in the world but it's a high quality uh, tender white flaky meat um, that we use in a number of dishes uh, you can just fry them up you can pan sear them you can grill them or you can use them in uh, fish tacos and I'm sure you've got your favorite fish recipes as well that uh, croaker would be a nice addition to your family's uh, recipe